Did you know a single large data center can use as much electricity each year as 400,000 electric cars and 80 to 130 million gallons of water? As AI tools like ChatGPT, Gemini, and Grok explode in popularity, the massive facilities powering them are leaving behind hidden costs, from draining local water supplies to driving up electricity bills, and the consequences are hitting communities right in their own backyards. In this video, we'll explain what a data center is, why they're growing so quickly, and the real-world environmental and economic impacts they're having on the people who live nearby. A data center is a big building filled with thousands of powerful computers. These computers store information, run programs, and send data to people all over the world, like a giant library and post office for the internet. They have cooling systems to prevent overheating, backup power to stay online 24-7, and strong security to protect what's inside. Data centers make it possible for us to stream videos, play games, and use AI tools. And as AI grows, these buildings are working harder than ever. Over the past decade, the number of massive hyperscale data centers has more than tripled, from fewer than 300 to over 900 worldwide, with hundreds more planned or under construction. The largest campuses can span over 2 million square feet, the size of 35 football fields, and take up hundreds of acres once covered by farmland or forest. They draw as much electricity as a medium-sized city and require vast cooling systems. This rapid spread is reshaping landscapes across the US and beyond, often faster than communities can respond. Almost every watt of electricity a data center uses turns into heat, and to keep servers cool, most rely on evaporative cooling towers. Warm air is cooled by water, which evaporates into steam and must be constantly replaced. A large facility can use 80 to 130 million gallons of water each year. Google used 4.3 billion gallons for cooling in 2022, while Microsoft's water use jumped 34% in a single year, partly due to AI products. Many centers are built near major population areas, creating new demand in water-stressed regions like Arizona or straining local infrastructure in wetter areas. One resident reported that construction sediment from a nearby data center contaminated her well water, forcing costly repairs. Beyond direct use, the electricity powering these facilities, often from thermoelectric plants, can require two to three times more water than the cooling systems themselves. Some data centers generate their own electricity on site. In Memphis, Elon Musk's XAI Gigafactory of Compute runs 33 mobile gas turbines, burning methane to produce up to 420 megawatts of power, enough for 300,000 homes without air permits or pollution controls. These turbines release harmful pollutants, such as nitrogen oxides, which contribute to ground-level ozone and worsen asthma and COPD, formaldehyde, which can cause cancer, and fine particulate matter, which can lead to heart disease and stroke. XAI's emissions, 1,000 to 2,000 tons of nitrogen oxides annually, make it the largest single NOx source in Memphis, a city already struggling with high toxic air release rates and above average asthma ER visits. Residents nearby have reported worsening respiratory illnesses since the turbines began operating. Data centers are putting massive strain on the power grid, forcing utilities to build new substations, power plants, and transmission lines. In a region stretching from New Jersey to Chicago to North Carolina, data center growth drove 70% of a $9.3 billion rise in electricity costs, all passed on to businesses and households. In Georgia, residential rates have climbed 24% since 2023, with six separate hikes linked to new data centers. Some families, like the Morrises living near Meta's facility, saw their peak season bills jump from $250 to $400. Meanwhile, data centers in Georgia received over $180 million in tax break last year, even as their energy demands are projected to double or triple within three years. Hyperscale campuses can require 300 megawatts to several gigawatts, enough to power hundreds of thousands of homes. Utilities profit from building infrastructure for these private facilities while spreading the costs to customers. Efforts to shift those costs back to the companies have failed. For many living near new data centers, the piece of home has disappeared. Facilities are lit so brightly that nearby houses never experience darkness. Residents endure months of construction noise, sometimes pouring concrete until 2, 3, or 4 a.m., and constant dust coating their properties. The build-out often means clearing acres of trees and green space, erasing landscapes people valued for decades. Once operational, centers bring steady mechanical noise, light pollution, and increased traffic. 
Paired with rising utility bills, these changes leave some families unable to retire and others feeling powerless to stop the transformation of their communities. The rapid growth of data centers, driven by the AI boom, is reshaping landscapes and lives. From draining water supplies and straining the power grid, to releasing harmful air pollutants and driving up household bills, these facilities can impose heavy costs on the people living closest to them. This video isn't a call to halt progress. AI is a powerful tool with the potential to solve real-world problems and drive innovation. But growth must be balanced with responsibility. That means slowing the rush for rapid expansion in favor of sustainable, long-term planning. With safeguards, fair cost-sharing, and strong regulations that protect both the people and the planet. If we get this right, we can power the future of AI without sacrificing health, safety, and the well-being of those who live in its shadows. At Forevergreen, we believe in a future where technology and nature thrive together. Subscribe and join our community for more stories, facts, and solutions on how to protect our planet while embracing innovation.